Facio House was built in 1798 by Andre Jimenez. The Jimenez family lived on the top floor and used the bottom floor as a general store. In the early 19th century, it was turned into a boarding house which was owned and operated by three different single women. Located on the corner of Avalese and Cadez Streets, today the Jimenez Facio House is a museum owned and operated by the National Society of the Colonial Dames of America in the state of Florida. It interprets the house from its boarding period from 1820 till 1860. Instead of showcasing objects, however, the house is set up as if the boarders still live there now. The site is one of the most excavated places in all of St. Augustine. The property has had 15 digs, the first in 1963 and the last in 2002. Some of the archaeologists who have excavated the site include Kathleen Deegan and Carl Halbert. We've been able to dig the earlier houses that, that kind of authenticate the earlier um, maps that show the dwellings on the structure. But for this structure in particular, we have found the, the china patterns of the, the sherds that were found in the ground. Uh, we know were the types of patterns that they used during the boarding house period, so we've been able to go to the antique places and buy complete sets of those patterns and set our dining room table with that. Um, also, we found military items such as gun flints and, and shot that we've been able to use in our Seminole Indian War Officers room. So, little things like that. Um, Archaeologists found the footprint of a previously existing wash house and we've reconstructed the wash house right on the footprint. Long list of artifacts found help support the history of the property, from prehistoric Native American pottery down to bottles of the boarding house period. We found a lot of things that help us understand the lifestyles of the people that were here in this um, early 1800s. For instance, personal care items like combs and bone toothbrushes and so, sewing activity items such as buttons. A very significant item we found was a cross that dates to 1650. It's called the Caravaca Cross. It was made of white bronze. It was found in back of the kitchen here about five years ago and we don't know why it was lost or if somebody threw it away or, or what but it was found in a trash pit. The house itself yields archaeological evidence about its construction. Holes can be found in the coquina where shelves once hung during its years as a general store. Dendrochronologists have studied the wood from the window panes in hopes to discover when the extended wing was added to the house. To learn more information about the Jimenez Facio House Museum, visit their website at www.jimenezfaciohouse.org.